clinical case, 50-year-old man, be careful, is brought <clears throat> to emergency department with severe colicky right upper quadrant pain, jaundice and Milena, no, uh, classic triad. So uh, Milena is a tri black uh, teristools. He has a history of recent blunt abdominal trauma from a motor, motor vehicle accident two weeks ago for which was briefly observed and discharged. Laboratory tests show elevated by a bilirubin or bilirubin and liver enzymes An upper endoscopy EGD is performed but shows no bleeding source in the esophagus, stomach and duodenum. What's the, what is the most likely diagnosis this patient's classic triad of symptoms? No, I don't want to go into another detail, another options. It's a hemobilia, hemobilia secondary to a traumatic liver injury. So this question tests the ability to recognize a rare, no rare, but classic clinical syndrome, surgery syndrome. The patient presents with Quinkies, its name, Quinkies triad, which is the hallmark of hemobilia. So hemobilia is secondary to a traumatic liver injury. This is the correct answer, absolutely. Hemobilia is defined as bleeding into the into the biliary tree. The patient's presentation perfectly matches Quinkies triad. So biliary colic, up, up, upper quadrant pain, caused by blood uh, passing through and obstructing the biliary ducts. Next, obstructive jaundice caused by clot blocking the common bile duct. And gastrointestinal GI bleeding. The blood travels from the biliary tree into the adenum via the ampulla of uh, water and then down the GI tract, presenting as melena and or hematomesis. So the clue that lies everything together is the recent history abdominal trauma, motor trauma, huh? motor vehicle. Iatrogenic injury, for example, from liver biopsy or endoscopic retrograde, cholangiopancreatography, and trauma are the leading causes of immobilia. The trauma likely caused the pseudoaneurysm or fistula with, uh, within the liver, uh, which, uh, which the ruptured into a bile duct causing the bleed, a little bridge like this. So the negative EGD is also crucial as it rules out more common cause of upper GI, GI bleeding, the heterogenic one. So high yield takeaway, quick is triad. Pain, jaundice, bleeding is a part of mourning for hemobilia. When you see this triad, especially in a patient with a history of liver trauma or iatrogenic EGD, or recent library that is uh, biliary instrumentation, hemobilia should be your number one diagnosis. You will be asked for that on your big board exams. Stay blessed.